place in that very common but special spot reserved for presidents, heroes, and significant moments in American history. We're talking, of course, about the postage stamp. There's now one to honor Jean-Baptiste Dussabel. Dorothy Tucker was at the unveiling. This is the spot right here, the corner of Wacker Drive and Michigan Avenue, where the city of Chicago was founded. This is where Jean-Baptiste Point Dussabel settled in 1772, a black Frenchman and fur trader who built a log cabin along the river. Today, the city of Chicago and the U.S. Postal Service gave thanks by unveiling a commemorative stamp. The DeSalvo commemorative stamp not only celebrates the life of Jean Point, B, Point Baptiste DeSalvo, it serves to celebrate the history of our great city. It was not common knowledge that DuSable discovered Chicago until the early 1920s. Today, however, it's a part of the city's history that's passed on in schools and contests like the one the post office held. He was a trader and an adventurer and one of the first settlers of Chicago. Mother Suzanne was a beautiful slave girl. She lived from one of the plantations on the Virginia Island. Virgin Island. Virgin Island. Because it took the city so long to honor DuSable, you won't find a major street, a bridge, or a statue with his name on it, but there's a DuSable High School on the city's south side and the nationally recognized DuSable Museum. Here, a bust of the city's founding father stands in the entrance of the building. And we thought it would be much better to have a memorial, a monument that would uh, interrelate with people, with young people, inspire young people, black, white, brown, beige, whatever. And that's, that was really the thrust behind developing the DuSable Museum. There is talk among some city leaders of naming a street after DuSable, maybe Wacker or Lakeshore Drive. There's nothing on paper yet, but city leaders say they plan to find another way to say thanks to the man who founded Chicago. Dorothy Tucker, Channel 2 News.